I'm going to talk this morning about a very, very serious situation going on in this country. And that is the terrible attacks on our freedoms, the attack on our Constitution. We have a crowd, we have a crowd in this country in Washington, D.C., that is violating in every way, shape, and form every aspect of our Constitution. And they're doing it every minute of the day, every hour, every hour of the day, every every week of the month, all month long, all year long, and they really don't give a damn. And the the one of the biggest problems is is there's not a whole hell of a lot of recourse because they just do what they want to do. And uh, I really don't see much of any support. I really don't see much of any support from a law enforcement aspect. And I'm talking about a sheriff or a police department, you see. And this is part of why this is going on, because Big Joe, he wants to do away with our sheriff's department and our police departments, you see, so they can have free reign to violate us in every way, shape, and form. I'm talking specifically here about our gun rights and every aspect of our Constitution. We have things going on all around the all around the country. And these ATF people are walking into into stores that sell firearms and basically they're unclothed, unidentified. Not un, not, they're not unclothed. Not unclothed. They're they're not they're not <laughs> identifying themselves as as agents they're just the regular normal dressed person in a store they're casing the place and they might case it two or three times trying to figure out exactly what they're going to do and then at some point later they're going to walk in the, in a store and quite likely just a moment after the store was opened up so there's nobody in the store perhaps and they don't come by themselves. They come in numbers from 3 to 20. Yep, 3 to 20. And they've got a they've got a a handgun. They've got body armor. They probably have a recorder running. And they've got either a riot type of a shotgun or an AR. Things were around around 10 days ago on Fox News. The 20 of these jokers, IRS and ATF agents together, 20 of them walked in them in three different businesses in Montana and demanded all their records, shut their business down forever, and actually went to their went to their their video camera system and stole the stole the the uh, film out of the video camera you see this is how your guns are going to be taken away in this country because that's exactly what they are and there's not anything about it that's constitutional it's totally against all of our constitution it's totally against the laws and you know it was put to a sheriff in Montana. Well, it's very obvious that it was it was an illegal search and seizure. Yeah, it sure as hell was an illegal search and seizure. It goes an awful lot farther than that. And you see, but who's doing anything about it? Absolutely nobody's doing anything about it. So you see, these people have figured these things out and they're just doing as they damn well please. And I think that everybody, not only just the gun owner, but also the store owner, and one thing or another, they all need to be aware of what's going on here. And I'm sure that there's been a lot of this information circulated. It was on Fox News in a particular instance, interviewing the man that his, his rights were, were severely violated. And put out of business and the comment was that they basically 
went to his place because he sold a considerable amount of guns, and he sold a lot of AR-type guns. Well, these thugs all had ARs, all had ARs with, with 20 round magazines in them. Figure it out, folks. I can have a, an AR with a 20 round magazine, but I don't want you to sell any. I can have them. Well, you see, when the Constitution was written, the framers of the Constitution under, understood that, you know, these violators of our Constitution were out there. And the biggest violators of anything in this country is actually is actually these various different different organizations of of law type enforcement they're the biggest violators of the law that there ever was some of this stuff has gotten so far out of hand if you if you had the worst damn dream you couldn't dream up what some of these people are pulling what they're doing Anyway, it's your responsibility to address this situation and put a stop to these thugs. And what I'm talking about here is, when it comes time to vote, there's no good clowns running, you don't vote for them. Period. That's all there is to it. I might add that don't vote for them but you actively campaign for somebody that will stand up for our rights because just not voting for the bad people. We have to limit the bad by putting people in that will do, yeah, they're not perfect, nobody is perfect. We have to limit the bad by getting somebody in there that will at least fight for us, like we do in Wyoming where we have Harriet Hageman now, who's going to fight tooth and nail for us every step of the way. You contact your congressmen and state and federal, you need to be active in your local elections for the sheriff, especially. Talk to your sheriff. Yeah, if there's a subpoena, he has to uphold that, but he needs to make sure that if there's a subpoena, that they follow the law of the subpoena and not go over it like they did in Montana, where they took way, 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 way more than then was in the subpoena. So talk to your sheriff. Talk to all of your buddies and get out there and be active because we have to start somewhere like the idiots did that started all this crap 60 years ago and onward and it's been a lot more active in the last 20 years. We have to start and we can't get it all at once, but we have to be active for ourselves, our children, our grandchildren, and now for us, our great, great grandchildren. Kathy detailed it quite well here. You see, complacency, the complacency. Well, let somebody else do it. Well, keep your eyes open, keep your ears open, and pay attention to what's going on. And when it comes to voting for people, just because there's a name or something rather, quite often that's not what you want because it's a name. You see, you want the actual political aspect of the person. You want to know specifically where they stand on all these things and whether they're being honest with you. I see the government made up of nothing but a bunch of crooks and, and liars and thieves. This is what we've got. A bunch of crooks walking into a place, somebody's, somebody's private somebody's business that he's run for a number of years or she and putting them out of business automatically and you have no recourse. It was commented that it'd take a half a million dollars minimum to try to try and defend this sort of thing. Would you have a half a million dollars? No, but the but the government's using your trillions of dollars you see, and throwing it away, but you can't touch them. This is what it's all about. That are no damn good from one end to the other. And one of the worst parts about this is, is the devil has a tremendous influence all the way around in their lives. 
or they wouldn't be pulling this this nonsense. So I felt a time to say something, but everybody needs to needs to pay attention. And you need to do everything that you can do within your legal ability. You have a tremendous amount of legal ability with our Constitution. Do it.